This is Mr. Van Kaplan. Today we're going to do an introduction to Autodesk Inventor. The first thing you're going to do when you log on, you must log on as yourself. Do not log on as HCMS student. Log on to the computer as yourself and you're going to make a folder where you can save all of your Inventor files. So somewhere in the middle of your desktop, and you can see I've already got one. Right click, choose New, Folder, and it's going to put it somewhere, find it, and it should be light up blue like this. I want you to put your initials, so mine would be GVC, and then put Inventor. Hit OK there. Now you're ready to start, and we're going to get into the Inventor program. So on your desktop, you're going to have an icon that says iPro 2015. This is the newest version. Double click that. The first time it takes it a little bit to load. Okay, so give it some time. And now you can see the three different types of files that we can create. A part file, which is what we will do for the first couple of weeks. Okay, you'll make part files. Later you can take several parts and create an assembly. And then finally, once you've done a part or an assembly, you can do a drawing file. Okay. As I hover over these, I want you to notice the names. The file for a, a part is standard IPT. You can see that to the right. For an assembly, it's standard dot IAM. For drawing, it's standard dot DWG. Remember that for a quiz that we will take later on eBackpack. Okay. So now you're ready to start a new program, okay? Uh, Inventor's a useful program, pretty simple to work through. A lot of stuff is similar to Microsoft Word, things like that, okay? We're going to open a new file. and I, You can click New here. You can open other files from here. Uh, what I like to do, though, is click on the icon here, hover over New, we're going to do a part file, and yours is going to load, so give it a second. Don't start clicking around things while it's loading, okay? And actually, I don't like that. I, I was wanting to show you something different, so I'm going to close that out. You do the same. Click part here. Ah, still doing it. Don't like that. I'm going to close it out again. Apologize. Okay, click New, and your parts are going to come up. This is important. I want you to see this. We can do English or metric. Notice on English it says standard in.ipt. The in means inches. If I clicked metric, you would do standard millimeter.ipt. We're not going to do any of the sheet metal or anything like that, so don't worry about it. So click on English. You can see, again, when we do a assembly later, you would do a standard dot IAM file. For now, I want you to click standard inch dot IPT, hit create. Okay. Now the first thing you're going to notice, your screen is gray, mine is white. Okay. I'm going to show you how to change that. What you want to do in your model or your ribbons up here at the top, you've got several tabs. We will use 3D model and sketch a lot. Right now, once you go to Tools, Application Options, click on Colors, and you can scroll through these different ones. Okay. You can make it where it's a gradient image, where it's a, like a fade. Okay. I like a one color, and I like the white one, so I'm going to keep it that way. One thing you do have to do, after you've chosen a background, if you choose not to, not to use the gray one, hit apply. And once you've done that, close it out. Okay, so now you're still in this tab. You don't want to be there. Hit 3D model. Now you're ready to start. OK. 
Okay. Anytime we do an inventor sketch, the first thing you have to do is hit Start 2D Sketch. It's going to give you these grids. Okay, you hover over them, it tells you the different planes. You have an XY plane, an XZ plane, and a YZ plane. Most commonly, you're going to use XY, and then when we start getting into extrusions and loft, you're going to use the XZ plane. Okay, I'm going to click the XY plane right now and just show you what it does. Okay, comes in, you see a grid, you know, you've got your Y coordinates going vertical, your X and Y coordinates going left to right. Okay, 2015 is the newest version. You've got a lot of tools here in 2D. You can make a line, a circle, an arc, a rectangle, you can write text, you can insert points. If you hover under rectangle, you can change the different ones. We're always going to do two point for the most part. Uh, you will learn how to do a polygon as well. I'll show you that in a future video. With the arc tool, you can choose different ones. Three point arc is the easiest one to use and the one we use most commonly. Under circle, you also have a ellipse, which you will use in a future video. And then under line, you have a spline tool, which you will use at another time. The good thing about Inventor, it's very, very user friendly. If you hover over them and watch, it shows you what the spline tool does. Okay? You can see it's made a curved line. The line tool, the same thing. If you hover over it and wait, it tells you how to make a different line. Okay? And we're going to do all that in a separate video later. Okay? Circle, same thing. You just hover over it. It tells you what you're going to do. So, what I want you to do. Once I get done talking here, go through everything and quietly, you know, kind of hover over everything, watch the little videos as it loads, and see what it does, okay? We will make separate videos where I'm going to show you the different 2D, 2D tools you can use. You're going to make sketches just like me, and then later you're going to have an assignment with certain measurements, and I want you to make that, okay? So this is Inventor. Um, Right now I'm on the arc and I'm moving around. Anytime you don't want to use, you know, get rid of a tool, you make a line and you're done with it. The easiest thing to do is right click, hit the green check, okay. Now you're back on your pointer, okay. Another thing I want to show you really quick, okay. You have a navigation bar and you also have this cube that lets you rotate things. I'm going to put a shape in here so you can see what's going on. And I want you to do the same. Click rectangle, okay. Come here in this first quadrant and drag out a rectangle, okay. You don't have to make it the same size as mine. You know, we'll talk about dimensions and all that later, but you click on this, I hit front, notice how it resumes it. If I hit up, it shows me the top view, the back view, the bottom view, okay the side view left and you can click anywhere on this so you can click in the upper left corner and it shows you that if you ever get lost and can't find stuff hit the home button okay and then I want the front again this hand is a very handy tool as well once you start drawing stuff in separate quadrants and you lose stuff sometimes you can click this hand and notice how the icon changes from my pointer to a hand you can move stuff around okay very very helpful um, sometimes you do some stuff and this disappears if that happens just raise your hand I'll come over there and I'll show you how to bring that back up okay so I'm gonna right click hit OK I can only see part of my circle it's drawn in the front I hit the front button it shows back up okay on your mouse you can also zoom in and out with your trackball okay I'm zooming in and then I'm zooming out to make it really small. If I want to make it big, I can't see all of it. I've zoomed in. Now I grab the pan, the hand tool, and I'm going to move that around until I can see it. Okay, then I right click and hit OK. So this is just a quick introduction. Um, we are going to do a lot of videos where you learn how to make lines and things like that. We will do all the 2D, ske 2D sketches first. We're going to save that. You'll do a couple of projects where you practice it on your own. I will grade it. Um, you know, I'll upload the the directions and the, the
the files or the for the files that you're going to create onto eBackpack and we will start doing lessons really soon. So for this one, we're done. Um, I do want I will show you how to save next time when we actually do lesson 1.